be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps the video and the channel. But without further ado, let's get into today's content. Basically, I'm going to be continuing a series or starting a new series actually on making beats in 10 minutes or less. And so how the series works is we do three different videos. First video, we're going to make the beat. So make the basic eight bar loop. Next video, we're going to create an arrangement from that eight bar loop, so arranging it into song format. And in the third video, we're gonna mix it and bounce it down and everything like that. So we're in the first video. So what we're gonna be doing is actually making a um, hard trap beat in 10 minutes or less in Logic Pro 10.7. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, we're gonna start with a software instrument track. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here to the quick sampler. And uh, we're gonna start with that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and push create here and I'm gonna drag in some samples. So I have the next level drum pack or kit that we are actually selling on our website, beatmakingbasics.com. You can actually get this uh, pack or kit in my the link in the description as well. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm gonna start with a clap. I'm gonna drag that bad boy in and we're gonna just gonna start laying down the drums first instead of actually doing melody. I'm gonna put that about 135 actually. And I'm using a MIDI keyboard, so I'm gonna push uh, musical typing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up the uh, timer and we're gonna knock this um, eight bar loop out in 10 minutes or less. Let's get it. Um, so we got this up, we got our eight bar loop. Let's go ahead and record it. I'll push R and we can get into it. You can leave this metronome on or turn it off, depends on how things are going, but I pretty much have it right on point. Um, if I didn't, all I had to do is just take this to like one over four and we got it snapped right in place. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a hi-hat. I found that, you know, using the hi-hat patterns, um, if you get that stuff laid down, you can kind of build from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this next level uh, drum kit and we're gonna get some hi-hats so we'll go there and I'm just gonna draw them in we're gonna or not draw them in we're gonna use the step sequencer and step them in we go 64 steps add some variation just random places with it within here All right, so we gotta fix this uh, last clap here for whatever reason. All right, cool. So we got our hat, which we can name. We got our clap. And then we're gonna go ahead and go with like a kick drum. Pull up our next level drum kit. And we can actually go ahead and use the uh, step sequencer for the kick too. Put it on those 64 steps and do it like that.
All right, cool. So we got a dope little pattern going here. We got our clap, our hat, our kick. And um, next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, I think it's a good time to go ahead and start creating a melody. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the uh, new track button here. And we're gonna go ahead and use Alchemy. Now for trap music, you know, a lot of times those sounds are more like leads and different things like that. So I'm going to say a lead or we can do even an arpeggio. So I'm going to say arp and we'll see what we can come up with here. All right, that doesn't sound like an arpeggiator. I don't know why it's not doing. Oh, that's simple enough. Let's do that. All right, bet. So we got a nice dope little pattern going here. We'll quantize that just to make sure it's uh, sounding on point. And then from there, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get an uh, 808 going. And I'm actually going to use mono for the 808. We can also use mono for some of these other instruments as well, like the kick, different things like that. Anyway, I'm um, pulling up the quick sampler. And um, instead of using this uh, step sequencer, I'm going to use, we could just, matter of fact, we don't even have to even use the uh, piano roll on this. We'll go ahead and find a dope 808. See what I want to do here is actually create an eight bar loop um, just so I can have just a little bit of different differentiation here. So I'm going to drag this over here, holding down option, and we're going to focus on making this second part of the 808. So after I did that, I'm just gonna come up and move, move some of these notes around. little sauce going. Let's check this out. And I feel like this one needs a little like little uh, another another note in here.
right, so basically the only other part now we need something that can go from the verses. So that's pretty much like the hook. Um, maybe I want to take this pattern right here and double it. So I want to double that track. And well, actually, you know, instead of doing that, we can just flip this into the uh, um, quick samplers. But I'm going to do what I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to create an audio version of this. So we'll just do the bounce in place by right clicking on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. All right. And then what I could do is. And then add something more to it. I'm going to go ahead and actually use this uh, remix effect. And we're going to activate it by going over here to latch. And basically whatever I touch while this is playing is going to be recorded. So I'm going to use this to add a little sauce to that. Um. That just, that just took it up to notch. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. They took it up a notch. That made that mug rock a little better. You know, don't even play with me. So now what we're going to do is just take this. And first off, we're going to make sure that everything is hitting where it needs to. And so I'm going to go over here to like that tape spot right there. And I just pushed A to bring that up. And we'll move that over here like that. Make sure this is right there. Bad. And then what we'll do is just push uh, the letter T and then the letter A. We're going to use the fade tool. And what we want to just do is just clean that part up just to make sure it's not going to, you know, pop. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the pointer tool again, and then I'm just going to drag this bad boy over here to the quick sampler under original. And what I'll do now is I could either do a lot of different things. I could chop this up. And so, yeah, I can over here and now play around with this. So let's just do it. Come on, man. Sauce, just playing it around, man. Let's just go ahead and quantize that real quick. And there was a couple of notes I messed up on, but it's all good. And then this is where I can actually come over here, turn these nodes on right there, and then affect the velocity. Um, turn that bad boy up like so. And this last guy, turn him all the way up.
And y'all, that's just gonna be the first video. All right, I don't want to, you know, do too much. We said we're gonna do it in ten minutes, so I gotta, you know, try to my best to honor that. But anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all watching. Again, you can get this uh, next level drum kit at my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Also, make sure you grab some of my courses on there as well. Got courses for beginners and for people who want to learn how to make beats in Logitech 10.5. Um, I got another course on its way. So, man, y'all go ahead, stay tuned. And thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.